Sunny bye! Man, you're looking too good, bro. Oh, really? <laughs> Actually, I was in Easter party. You are also looking good. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, Punjabi. So, Sanim is finally back from India. Yeah. Really? And I told him, the next time you see me is when we go to a Sahari party. So, are you ready, man, for yeah, my course. first Sahari party? Yeah, that's why you're wearing Punjabi. Of like course, man. Okay, Sanim, I put the camera here, okay? Okay. And then we go for a catwalk. Catwalk? <laughs> no. Like Punjabi catwalk. <laughs> Good, eh? Sanim, but this this vest looks so nice, man. Yeah, it's called koti. It's actually uh, a dress uh, which is wear with Punjabi, like when it's any occasion or a program or party. I mean, we have uh, 26 days of Ramadan left. Yeah. So I have time to buy the koti. Yeah, of course. What do you think of my hair? <laughs> now it's uh, look like a bit of chicken. <laughs> But now it's still not recovered. What is the name of a very chicken again? Uh, Murgi. Murgi. In Bangla. People already ask, Steve, Steve, what happened to your hair? It's, uh, yeah, I filmed some stupid video. You will see soon, after Ramadan probably. And it's a uh, Murgi. Murgi cutting. Murgi cut. Murgi, cu uh, murgi cut. <laughs> And you know what? Normally I'm never hungry for Sari, but this time I'm so hungry, man. Which pizza? <laughs> yeah, what do you think? <coughs> Come on, Amki, what is your name again? <coughs> in the Aslamuddin. Uh, Aslam. 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 Aslam, what do you think of the Punjabi? Punjabi, beautiful. Uh, good? Good. <laughs> what do you think of Sanim's? Also Very looking good. good. Ah. Very good. Yeah. You look even better. Looking better. Yeah, better than me. <laughs> so we go to Sari party. Seri party. Seri party. Seri party. Yeah, we bring some food for you, okay? Okay, okay. Sunny bro. Hey, bye. I mean, it looks even better on the bike, right? Yeah, of course. Sunny, he has like the fastest bike in Bangladesh, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I have all of my bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Ah. See you later. <laughs> bye. Okay, streets are not so busy, right? Uh, yeah, today is holiday, so streets are very fine. I missed the last two or three Saharis because I was so tired, man. Okay, yeah. But this time, no, I promise you, I woke up in the middle of the night just to go to the good old Sahari because I want to find out if there are actually people. There's not so many cars, so how long you think it takes to get there? If you want, then I can take you there in five minutes. Or otherwise, if you go like this, then maybe 10 or 15 minutes. No, I'm good in 10 minutes, man. <laughs> Dhaka by night is so beautiful. Yeah, if there is no traffic, then Dhaka is, uh, I think, one of the most beautiful cities. If it's clean, if there is no pollution, if without, there is no traffic. Without the trash and the traffic, Dhaka would be like number one travel destination. Yeah, of course. For more people than me. Yeah. <laughs> Dhaka is so nice. It's the holiday, that's why Dhaka is so nice. But if you go at a working day before iftar, sometimes Dhaka is totally blocked because of traffic. See, a VIP is coming. <laughs> Everyone is VIP in Dhaka. There is no VIP, I guess. But Man, VIP is VIP. VIP. We are super close. Man, what's happening here? The whole parking lot is full. <laughs> what are all those people doing here? Sanim Bai, what's happening here? It's middle in the night and there's so many bikes. Yeah, because they came for taking their Sahari. Yeah, but man, why is there so many people who stand up in the middle of the night just to get the Sahari? Because uh, Muslim people like to do Sahari sometimes in our side. Let's see what the Sahari party is all about. Oh man, so fancy, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Like iftar is a religious thing, but Bro. right now it's like a party. And do you see this? It's the middle of the night and...
This place is crowded. Yeah. You're looking so good, man. <laughs> You're also looking so cool. Like Bengali girls will crash in you, uh, get crashed. In if that or every time. No, man. Like, it's, doing it's, a Rama, it's Ramadan, man. Yeah. You cannot be like. Maybe they came here for any religious thing and girl got a crash on you. <laughs> Ramadan, man. Ramadan. <laughs> Hey bro! Bro, it's packed here, eh? Yeah. There's so many people <laughs> for the series. It's crowded as We are the Murgi squad. No, 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 I am not the Murgi. <laughs> man, you have to... It's Ramadan, you have to stand with me, man. Okay. Okay, we are the Murgi, uh, Murgi squad. And we're gonna check out everything. Yeah. I mean, you don't look like Murgis, but... You know, boys and girls, the videos of the Ramadan series is always very rough, cut it. No special effects, no crazy transitions, no nothing. Because I have to edit every night after the day. But as this place is so nice, you will get a little extra. Because it's Ramadan and I want to give back. So now you get a nice little B-roll, crazy sequence music, fancy shot sequence. Woo! middle of the night and this place is full <laughs> it's a pretty fancy Sahari party eh? yeah so what do you think so for my first Sahari we went to a very fancy one but yeah. I also want to see like a really local normal one uh, if you want to see any local normal Sahari party then maybe you have to travel in old Dhaka like they have the crazy things in Sahari Iftar and every okay. every occasions okay so but we have 26 days left so Maybe not tomorrow, but within the next week, let's go to Old Dhaka for Sahari. Yeah, yeah? Sure. Oh yeah, I'm starting to like Sahari. You know, no traffic in the city. It's chilled. You know, the night vibe is so cool. Yeah. And if you're hungry, then it's perfect because it's the middle of the night and everybody is cooking and every yeah, yeah. there's so much food. Yeah, so many options. Imagine, man, in Germany, if I go out at three or four at the night. There's no food in the whole city. Same here for all the 11 months, but at ah. this Ramadan month, like they all have food in Seri time. Man, I really, time. I really start to like Ramadan. Yeah, really. Yeah, during, during night. <laughs> I think, I we say. ordered something nice. We ordered some rice, uh, chicken and naan. Tikka, naan, yeah. Perfect. So now middle of the night we got our nice decent little meal, right? <laughs> we have to do what we have to do because uh, the sun is going up soon and if we don't eat then we'll be hungry the whole day like the last four days. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see if I'm super energized tomorrow morning or uh, when I wake up again or if I'm like oh I eat at 3 or 4 in the morning option 2, oh. option 2, option 2 I never ate so much food uh, this late so let's see how I'm feeling tomorrow the garlic rice oh, it's so nice the garlic rice is really good man mm. the food is good Sanim said they gave me a little extra treat because I'm the white guy. <laughs> no, because and I... And you're so nice with them, there's, there's also another reason. And the camera, man. <laughs> the thing is, if you want really nice food and maybe a little bit, an extra portion, always bring a camera. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then people think like, oh, he's a food blogger or whatever, and they make it, <laughs> and they make it super nice, and then in the end you never post it or you don't even film. <laughs> I tried a chicken before Sanim ate everything. You know what Sanim said? Oh, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. Yeah, but I can resist myself when it's any type of meat, beef, chicken, anything. <laughs> You're a vegan, so you don't need to eat the chicken. Yeah, I'm a vegan, but I'm not a vegan in Bangladesh because I don't want to starve. Okay. If, if you're a vegan in Bangladesh, then there's... 
not so many options, let's say it like this. What I learned from Sanim, you always take the chicken. More little chicken, more. more chicken. Yeah, 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 more chicken, more chicken, sorry man. More? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Put it on the middle, roll yeah. it. Yeah, but I, a little some bit. Sauce. Ah, nice. And then go for it, boom. Oh. Now it's perfect. Ah, so good, man. <laughs> I mean, it's middle of the night, but if you're hungry and you get this, it's so nice. Man, what a beautiful Sahari party, eh? Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Okay, but we made it back home. I'm so tired. Yeah. <laughs> I finally have to sleep. But the food was very nice, eh? Yeah, that's really good. Food. The location was also pretty dope. Yeah. Let's see how I feel tomorrow. Now I'm full. Let's see if I feel energized tomorrow and let's see what tomorrow brings. Yeah, Yeah, of course. Good night. Good night. What a beautiful day. I'm feeling so good after that nice Sahari in the morning. I just feel better, man. I just feel so good. I know you guys told me, Steve, don't do sports during the day. It's not healthy and it's not good for you. But I'm feeling so good. I have to go. I had to go for a run. Oh, boys and girls. I got bad news. After the beautiful Sahari this morning, I felt so energized and I felt so good. I thought today I can do everything. So yeah, as you saw it, I went on the run in the heat. Now I'm feeling really bad. I'm not sure if I'm getting ill or if it was just too much for one day. No sleep, doing sports in the middle of the day, 35, 30 degrees. And it's really unfortunate because I had big plans with the iftar tonight. I wanted to go to Chok Bazaar in Old Dhaka. You told me in the comments it's a really great place and a really hectic, crazy, fancy place for Iftar. But I can't go. I'm not feeling very good. So yeah, I will take some rest and then hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye bye.